Hello everyone, my name is Ashok. Welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In today's video, we will understand what are the roles and responsibilities of DevOps engineer in the project. DevOps is a culture which is used to automate project build and deployment process. As a DevOps engineer, we need to work with several tools to achieve our goal. First one, GitHub. GitHub is used to store the project source code. As a DevOps engineer, we need to create Git repository for the project. We need to create branches in the repository and we need to maintain that branch strategy like which branch code we need to use to deploy in the dev environment, in the city environment and in the production environment. And we need to manage user permissions also in the Git repository. For which user we need to provide which permission. For some users, we will give read and write access for the repository. For some users, we will give only read access. That information we will get from development team manager or development team lead. And next one, Artifactory Server. Project to build artifacts we need to store for future reference, like Nexus repository or JFrog repository we are going to use. We need to set up that Artifactory Server and we need to create remote repository for the project to maintain shared libraries. Development team will give the shared libraries for us and we need to upload those shared libraries into Nexus repository and we need to provide the permissions for development team to access those repositories for their build process. And next one, SonarCube. SonarCube we are going to use to perform the code review. As a DevOps engineer, we need to set up quality profiles and quality gates to perform the code review for the project and we need to check code quality and we need to send that code quality report to the development team. And next one, Terraform. Terraform we are going to use to create the infrastructure. We are going to write Terraform scripts by using HCL language. We need to execute those scripts to automate infrastructure creation in the cloud platforms. And next one, Ansible. Ansible we will use to perform configuration management. Any softwares that we need to install or update or remove in the multiple machines, instead of doing that manually, we can automate that by using Ansible. We need to set up Ansible control node and we need to configure host inventory file with the machines which we need to manage by using Ansible. And we need to write the playbooks. Playbook is a YML file which contains set of tasks and we need to execute those playbooks by using Ansible control node. And next one, Jenkins. Jenkins is the heart of the CACD. CACD, Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. As a DevOps engineer, we need to set up the Jenkins server and we need to set up master-slave architecture for the Jenkins jobs execution. We need to create the pipeline and we need to execute the pipeline and we need to monitor the pipeline. Pipelines we are going to create by using script. Some projects will use Python scripting, some projects will use Groovy scripting for the pipeline creation. As a DevOps engineer, we need to take care of those pipelines to automate build and deployment process. And sometimes we will get the request from development team or testing team to execute the pipeline. So we need to take care of those requests and we need to handle those pipelines. And next one, Docker. Docker we are going to use as a containerization platform to build and ship our applications easily into any environment. We need to set up the Docker environment. We need to write the Docker files which are required for the project and we need to create Docker images and we need to store the Docker images into Docker registry. We need to take care of the Docker registry setup as well. Then next we'll go for Kubernetes. Kubernetes we will use as an orchestration platform. We need to set up the Kubernetes cluster. In some projects they will use Kubernetes EKS cluster or Kubernetes AKS cluster based on the cloud provider clusters. Some companies will prefer self-managed cluster by using Kubadium. Based on our project requirement, we need to set up that cluster to deploy our applications by using Kubernetes. We need to write the Kubernetes manifest files to deploy the applications and we need to write the Kubernetes service manifest files to expose our applications for accessing purpose. And we need to manage the pods and we need to manage the containers as well. And we need to monitor the cluster, we need to monitor the application. And the most important thing is we need to deploy our application to the production environment. For that we will follow blue-green deployment with zero downtime. And we need to monitor the applications by using monitoring tools like Prometheus, Grafana. And we need to set up ELK stack 
to monitor logs of the application. And as a DevOps engineer, we need to participate in the release calls when the application is delivering to the production environment. We need to take care of the release process. We need to explain the development team and testing team how the release process is going to happen and what is the checklist of our release process. So based on the checklist, we will deploy the application into production environment and we will release the application for live traffic access. All right. I hope you understood what are the roles and responsibilities of DevOps engineers in the project. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos, for more updates.